Something that's really important in Aikido is the concept of grounding and uprooting. And we're going to work on that through a two-hand shoulder push. So Ben's just going to push forward on my shoulders. And the first thing I want to do is I want to feel this connection between myself and my opponent's center. So I just want to feel that. The way I'm going to feel it is both with my shoulder and right here. I want to feel it all the way down in my feet so you notice that as I move, Ben moves. If I'm up in my shoulders, then it's not the connection I want. I want to keep it relaxed, low, heavy. And now I'm on underneath him. So I've got his weight right here. It's a good practice to do. So now, another thing you can do out of this is you can come around on top. And you'll notice that when I do this, I'm drawing him toward me. Ben is now trapped on his front foot. He can't move his front foot. The more he tries, the worse it gets for him. I'm grounding him. I'm taking the force of his push. It's going down to the ground, coming back up through me, and right back into his foot. So I'm free to move. Ben is trapped. Another thing I can do when Ben pushes is instead of grounding him, I uproot him. So now, notice his shoulders going up. I've uprooted him. And once you've uprooted somebody, they become very light and easy to move, even though they want to get back down. His balance depends on mine, and I can just move him around. So those two practices of grounding and uprooting are really good from a shoulder grab. We can now do a technique using a combination of grounding and uprooting. So Ben pushes. On this arm, I ground. Notice what it does to him. His shoulder drops. He's already lost his balance. This arm, I uproot. And as I pivot, I throw. So the combination of grounding and uprooting can become a technique. He pushes. There. He's grounded right there. He can't move very well. The other side of his body becomes light. He's in this very awkward position of being heavy on one side and light on the other. And to save himself, he decides to do it in some chemistry. So one more time, please. 